<laughs> Tomorrow. Uh, five mass extinctions, and we are looking at the sixth. Do you think the extinctions of the human race? When we say extinction, we usually think of dinosaurs that went to lunch with a humongous asteroid and <laughs> were wiped out from the face of the Earth. We don't think of ourselves possibly going away in the near future. But what we forget is that there have been five mass extinctions that our planet witnessed in the last half a billion years, not just oh. one. And we can be nearing the sixth one, where one of the species to possibly disappear are humans. The first great mass disappear. extinction came about 440 million years ago in the Ordovician period. Back then, life was mostly How thriving do they in the oceans. Know these things. Right, it's insane and along the coastlines. And Biodiversity was great at the time. Geology. There were thousands of different species. Trilobites, sea scorpions, and all kinds of weird-looking mollusks and even fish. You name it, Ordovician oh, it had looked it. Like. But then, the temperature around the planet started to drop. The overall warm climatic zones became colder and colder until the oceans got covered with thick sheets of ice. Most of the marine species weren't ready for such abrupt changes. I love how they're saying, Imagine a don't worry about getting extinct. You're gonna die before it, so it's fine. Thanks for reminding me! A bite, serenely crawling along the bottom of the sea and suddenly bumping into a glacier. Yeah, it's like living your entire life in a beach bungalow, only to find yourself in an igloo one day. Oh, man, the event imagine. was dubbed Late Ordovician Glaciation, which led to Late Ordovician Mass Extinction. Over 60% of all species that lived in that period disappeared. Only ancient fossils were left for paleontologists to discover the mummy. hundreds of millions of years later. Nobody still knows exactly what caused like. the temperature drop at the time. The main theory is that the CO2 levels in the atmosphere fell sharply. It led to cooling down the entire surface of Earth. But the reasons for such a collapse are still <gasps> hey, under debate. Yo, and in a way. However, that wasn't the worst mass extinction event in the history of our planet. I mean, the dinosaurs Despite are Despite more than half of all living creatures being wiped out, biodiversity on Earth restored itself in the following 5 million years. Life went on until another catastrophe struck. Within the span of 20 to 25 million years, from about 375 to 350 million years ago, several okay. extinction events occurred. Whoa. They were like pulses that damaged a lot of marine Man, species. Earth is like an enemy. Pods, like scorpions and mites, especially with this music lots in the of background. Various fish, including sharks, all were in decline. Overall, more than 75% of all living beings disappeared a tooth back like this. Then, who were mainly in the oceans. The reasons for such events are even more unclear than those before the late Ordovician mass extinction. Most scientists now believe those waves were caused by changes in the sea level and a lack of oxygen in the oceans. A lot of plants quickly moved to land and adapted to living outside of water. And since they were the main source of oxygen in the ocean, all those fish and sea scorpions were in for a very Scorpion. unpleasant surprise. <laughs> The booming growth of plants on land also removed much of the CO2 in the atmosphere and enriched it with oxygen instead. This led to an abrupt temperature fall again. And although no new ice age followed, many land animals couldn't adapt to the new conditions. The bitter irony was that the major part of them had just recently crawled out on land from the ocean, looking for a better environment. Ah, well... Oh. This was only the first wave, no worse. though. The reasons for the second one that came about several million years later are still unknown. Scientists think there could have been mass volcanic eruptions or even meteor strikes, but those are just hypotheses. Then another hundred million years yeah. passed without much trouble. Species rose and fell, evolved and disappeared. But the cycle of life continued until about 250 million years ago, when the third mass extinction event occurred. It happened in the Permian period, the last oh, period man. of the Paleozoic era. And it was so catastrophic that it had all the chances of becoming the last mass extinction like on our planet. Door. Scientists are still unsure what caused so many species to be eliminated. 
But the fact is that around 96% of all living creatures in the world were gone. One theory suggests right? that volcanoes started being overly active. Everybody get out. They threw guys, millions to of tons of methane and basalt into the atmosphere. Asteroid strikes might have added to the damage, too. The sky was literally covered in dark clouds of ash. The proto-mammals and reptiles hey, tried ash. to hide from the black and gray mist, Valorant. but it was everywhere. I mean, it was like hiding was from the air itself. Another culprit could have been microbes that love their methane-rich environments. They could have quickly spread in oh, the ocean and literally choked the rest of the marine I, life forms there. I just but them. whatever the reason, the Permian mass extinction event was the most massive and Don't destructive of all the Great Five. All life on our planet could have ended right then and there. Wow, but those 4% like that then. persisted eventually spread across the Earth and started a new era. Yay! <laughs> this time, they Yo, lived a we said yay at the same time! I said yay, he said yay, we said yay together! We yay in! Yay! Peaceful life for only 50 million years. And then, whammo! The fourth great wham mass extinction hit. It was different, though, slowly mm. creeping across the planet over the last 18 million years of the Triassic period. The extinction occurred in numerous short pulses, wiping out several species at a time. A slight climate change here... I would love to do that as a job. You just sit there and you have this teeny tiny brush and just shoo shoo do the whole time. And then you're like, slowly get it out of there and then put it in a box and then... Let's go! Next one! There, and very upset animals and fish all around. The main reason for that was again the Have volcanic an even activity job. at the time. Fiery mountains started spewing out ash and gas once more, yeah, lowering the oxygen hard. levels and suffocating life. Joking, well, this that is was more harsh. Fun. The gases and other substances thrown out of like the volcano's changing, you know? mouths changed the Earth's climate again. Change. Sea levels oh, rose because of that, so and some researchers believe even the pH levels were altered. That means the marine life that used to be swimming peacefully in more oh, alkaline waters like, yeah. suddenly found itself trying to survive in acid. But apart from causing oh, bursts of extinction, awesome. these changes also ushered in the era of dinosaurs. It didn't begin immediately, of course. Right, Some species were... evolved okay, never and mind. slowly grew into the mighty it animals we've us. heard so much about. Their us. extinction was the last us. of the Great Five and certainly yeah. the most well-known. Yeah. About 65 this million years ago, us, right? when dinos were still ruling both one. land and ocean, an enormous I asteroid don't... came from outer space and fell right on Earth. The impact was so powerful, it left a huge crater in the Yucatan Peninsula, and the explosion sent billions of tons of debris into the air. Whoa. The dinosaurs that lived far away from the impact zone raised their heads and saw black and churning clouds blocking the sun. It remained for years, drastically Wait, dropping the temperature. dinosaurs are still alive as birds. I mean, not only as birds, you know that dragon thing? And there's so many other, for example, uh, uh, alligators. And you have all of these things that are dinosaur-like, but not in that magnitude, you know? And the biggest reason of that, we would not be alive today if, if dinosaurs this huge and this savage were alive, you know? We would be extinct, definitely. Temperatures. Komodo In dragons, addition to yeah. the cold that followed, the asteroid hit a They're carbonate so cool. rock that had a lot of flammable material in it. The impact led to an explosion. It's like a the chemicals real dragon mixed without in the air and produced sulfuric rings. acid. And that acid fell down in the form of rains, altering the pH of the oceans. Aquatic creatures that were again used to more alkaline water. Imagine how went, yummy these oh, dragons come would. On. I that mean, didn't if a help, chicken though. is a dragon, then... The changes Please. were abrupt and severe. About 75% of all animals and plants went extinct in a matter of years, unable to survive the new, harsh conditions on the planet. But some persisted. Many of them were reptiles, like crocodiles and turtles, which managed to survive yeah. even up to this day, mm -hmm. looking Especially almost turtles. the same as they did back in the dinosaurs' yeah. days. Almost the Others same. were mammals which had lived in the shadow of the mighty dinos and hid from them in dark corners. But now that the giant animals were gone, they began to flourish, bringing in the Cenozoic era, 
the one that lasts to this day. Hey, you know, this is from Ice Age. And today, we might be witnessing the sixth great mass extinction. According to scientists, with the evolution of humans... Oh yeah, this definitely requires a lot of patience. Like, he's on his knee the whole day and he's doing that. A lot of different plants and animals have gone from the face of our planet, never to return. The good thing is, mass extinctions have always happened over a span of several million years. So I we might still have time some of these to creatures. recognize it, prepare, and Who counteract. Knows? It's what because of think? us! Shall we? Oh my god, did you see how much plastic? We guys have... Uh, we're killing a lot of these prepare creatures. Prepare and counteract. What do you think? Shall we? Yeah, we should prepare and counteract. Or else we are gonna go extinct as well. But he didn't explain why would we go extinct. Like, why would humans be the sixth one to go extinct? Is it because the way we are treating the planet? And everything is gonna backfire at us? Or what? See, that's what I don't understand. The floods, the melt... Yeah, the warm, the melting eyes we're gonna have a lot of a lot of problems when it comes to that definitely i don't think that will make us completely extinct but probably a lot of humans would die because of it and and a lot of things are gonna change and i feel like humans are gonna start trying to change that when it's too late like remember when corona happened and the first year people were like slowing down and nothing was happening and you see like literally other animals and creatures coming back and the sea is, is cleaner everything is flourishing the whole earth is is having a breathe because we took a break only humans so that shows you how big of a problem we are to to earth mm -hmm. <laughs>